Welcome back. Well, let's just turn our attention to another aspect of the, the problem that we are facing, and which is the shortage of doctors. Now, if you take a look at the number of uh, cases of, of, children, of children getting cancer, something like 50,000, we only have 50 pediatric oncologists in the entire country, which means that thousands and thousands of children have absolutely no access to any specialist. Uh, and given that childhood cancer is, is different from adult cancer, this is leading to a further problem. Let's just take a look at the issues related to uh, the shortage of doctors. Every year, 2,50,000 children the world over get cancer. 90,000 of them are likely to die. In resource-rich countries, three out of four children survive. But in developing economies, predictably, the survival rate is poor. Take India. Here, 50,000 children are diagnosed with cancer every year. Over 20,000 die. This, despite unlike cancers in adults, cure rates amongst children with cancer can be 70% to 90% if diagnosed early. Early detection is the key. One of the biggest reasons for our failure is a critical lack of pediatric oncologists. India has only 50, and we repeat, only 50, as against 50,000 new cases every year. Pediatric oncologist is very different from an adult oncologist, just like an adult is different from a child. You cannot treat a child like a little adult. Similarly, the cancers in children are completely different from what happens in adults. And pediatric oncology has a vast ocean of uh, material available, which training available, which they have to go through before they emerge as pediatric oncologists. And that person makes all the difference to survival because it's his knowledge and expertise that makes the child live at the end of the day. The pediatric oncologist can be counted on a finger. Hardly or no course in DM in oncology. And pediatric oncology, I think there's none which exists. Or if it exists, something which I do not know of, very few. So it's up to the government, up to the medical council to see there's a new course in pediatric oncology, a DM in pediatric oncology is introduced. A number of seats, a significant number of seats, are there so that more and more doctors can be initiated to join that and see that there's a larger pool of pediatric oncologists available than what is available now. We may not be able to overcome the surge in cancers amongst adults, but it's a shame that we cannot effectively fight childhood cancers which are highly treatable. We're losing a battle that ironically we can win.